just a few miles off Miami Beach. Three generations of one family travel to a sacred spot. Will Payne tightens his belt. Oxygen levels are good. Whenever you're ready, come over and hit. And down he goes. 40 feet beneath the water's edge, bringing his parents to a final resting place. So the being the ashes down there is all that basically becomes life down there. Buell and Linda Payne's ashes were melded into this concrete pillar. And they will live on forever. Here at Neptune Memorial Reef, coral will soon grow from the ashes, giving the Paynes a literal second life. The reef is home to the cremated remains of 1,500 people, and the Paynes are the first to be interred in an expansion. As reefs struggle with bleaching and other threats, the memorial's permit was granted to help encourage the ecosystem. Uh, you know, the way coral grows is we have a layer of coral. It uh, absorbs limestone and it creates rock, and so it builds layer after layer. And this way, we've given uh, the reef a head start. We're creating life after life. Family members snorkel and look down from above as their loved ones are placed. And Will says his final goodbye beneath the ocean. I guess if there was heaven, that would be it for them down there. Definitely. All right. Roses are tossed to mark the spot, and saying goodbye is tough for this son. Uh, Anytime I had an issue, I would call her for advice. But the deceased will have new life. We're hoping that we're going to build a big reef and that you won't be able to see where mom and dad were. You'll just know generations from now that they are part of that reef, that they are, you know, created it. As the reef expands, it will create room for thousands more to become part of new life down below. Joshua Plogle, the Associated Press, Miami Beach, Florida.